Hi, welcome back to my channel. It is Rosalyn Yukich, and today I want to show you something new that we are starting as a new Thanksgiving tradition. At least I hope it's going to become a new Thanksgiving tradition. It will be a tradition. It may not always look the same, you know, obviously with time, you often change things as kids grow older, you know, traditions sort of you know, look a little different throughout the years. Sometimes, um, you know, some years doing things the way you've always done, it doesn't work out. And so, you know, that's life. But this year, this is how we're starting this tradition. So um, <clears throat> one of the things that I've always loved to do uh, with my kids, obviously for Thanksgiving, focusing on giving thanks and that we've always sort of done like a little thankful tree art craft kind of thing where uh, it was a free downloadable craft of a tree and then you had little leaves that you cut out and you pasted them onto the tree, you know, writing things that you're thankful for. <clears throat> we've done that every year for about three or four years. And this year I wanted to do it a little differently. So I got the, I, this idea from one of the YouTubers that I follow, and I want to say it's either a life of Tillman's or a woman on a journey. And I can't seem to find the video anymore. I should have saved it in my watch later. Ugh, but any, at any rate, the idea was to use a Kleenex box and make a turkey out of it. And I'm going to go back and try to find the video and I'll link it in the description below so that you can see it. I just don't remember which one of those two that it was. And I'm pretty sure it's one of those two. Um, so I went out and bought a Kleenex box and, um, I am not a crafty person. I will just tell you crafts are not my thing. Um, I'm trying to do them a lot more in our homeschool this year than I have in previous years. Sorry, my kids are not beating each other up in the background. They're playing games together. And so it's just, it is, <laughs> it's friendly and it's fun, even though it sounds dangerous. Um, so at any rate, one year, last year, uh, my sister gave me a book of incompleted projects that her daughter had done um, through Abeka. So it was a big Abeka art book, and it was full of projects that she hadn't done. And so one of them was some Thanksgiving projects. And so my kids did them last year. They absolutely loved them. They were so proud of themselves. I couldn't, didn't have the heart to throw it out. And they were so cute that I thought, oh, we could use them again except for this year, they were just in the way. Like wherever I put them, they just seemed to be in the way. So I ended up using them on our thankful box. So you're ready to see? <clears throat> Here it is. This turkey is designed to be a, um, a centerpiece decoration for your table with this verse here, which is Psalm 136, one through four. Give thanks to the Lord for he is good for his mercy endureth forever. Oh, give thanks unto the God of gods for his mercy endureth forever. Oh, give thanks to the Lord of lords for his mercy endureth forever. To him who alone doth great wonders for his mercy endureth forever. So I love that verse. It's one of my favorite chapters. Of course, all, pretty much all of the Psalms are my favorite. And then these are actually um, napkin holders. So the napkin, you kind of fold it like a fan and it becomes like the turkey feathers and it didn't work out so well for us. Um, so I just sort of taped them randomly on the box. And so here you go. Um, here is where you put, you write down things that you're thankful for. And I had this sort of, it's, it's sort of like a packing paper. And so I cut up some extra into some little tabs and they just fit right here on, at the side of the box. And so what we're going to do <clears throat> is we are writing down things we're thankful for and we're stuffing it in the box. Okay, so we are going to start something new this year for Thanksgiving and we're calling it our thankful box. And so this is our thankful box right here. Now in our thankful box, we have little pieces of paper and on those little pieces of paper, we're gonna write down one thing that we're thankful for. And we're gonna fill up our box between now and Thanksgiving with things that we're thankful for. So it can be a person, it can be a thing, it can be a memory, a place. it can be a place, it can be anything you want. You're gonna write down what you're thankful for before you put it in the box, we're gonna share it with each other, okay? Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Okay. So you have your colored pencils and you have your markers there. You can, on your little slip of paper, you can 
write down what you're thankful for and you can draw a picture if you would like. Okay? Okay. All right. I would like to draw a picture. Okay. But you also need to write the words and then we're going to share them with each other. Okay? Okay. I'm already started. Let's sing this together. Oh, man. Okay, so we're going to be learning that hymn this whole month. Let's go around now and let's share the things that we are thankful for. What did you write down, Roby? <clears throat> I write drums mm -hmm. and, of course, video games. Ah, of course. <laughs> what did you write, Andre? What things are you thankful for? Look. <laughs> okay. PJ Masks and what else? Yeah. And, Train. and, and trains phones. and phones. And I wrote, I am thankful for the time that we had with Grandma and Grandpa. And I am thankful for our beautiful house. So now what we can do is we can fold our thankful notes in half. And we can put them in the thankful box. Okay? It's a great keepsake and I thought you know we could continue to use the same box you know pull out the papers and you know paste them into a journal or just keep the box and do a different box next year we'll just see how things go at any rate um, I am really really happy to get the, to get started with this it is November 6 already so we're gonna do a little bit of catch-up I think over the next few days I think we'll put in two things that we're thankful for and sort of get caught up on that and um, anyway I just wanted to show you our thankful box so you can get an idea if you are super crafty obviously you can just take this and run with it if you're like me and you're not crafty at all you can find like a printable online and have your kids color it and paste it on the box. Um, that is probably what I would have done if I hadn't had this 3D, 3D turkey um, centerpiece decoration that I did not know what to do with but didn't have the heart to throw away. So um, I made something useful out of it and it's a keepsake and um, you know, we'll just see what we, how we, how that morphs and changes next year and over the next years. And so anyway, um, if you liked this video, be sure to leave a thumbs up for me and let me know. Um, and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, do that. Be sure to subscribe and click that bell for notifications and I will see you in the next video.